I would now like to provide uh, our assessment of uh, growth and inflation. First, I would like to take up growth. Available data for Q3 and Q4 of the current financial year, that is 22-23, indicate that economic activity in India remains resilient. Urban consumption demand has been firming up, driven by sustained recovery in discretionary spending, especially on services such as travel, tourism, and hospitality. Passenger vehicle sales and domestic air passenger traffic posted robust year-on-year -year growth. Domestic air passenger traffic crossed pre-pandemic levels for the first time in December 2022. Rural demand continues to show signs of improvement as tractor sales and two-wheeler sales expanded in December. Several high-frequency indicators also point towards strengthening of activity. I have listed out some of the high-frequency uh, indicators which uh, show improvement and strengthening of activity in the footnote of my statement. As you know, the statement will be uploaded in the RBI website. So if you are interested, you may like to have a look at it. Investment activity continues to gain traction. Non-food bank credit expanded by 16.7% as on January 27, 2023. The total flow of resources to the commercial sector has increased by rupees 20.8 lakh crore during 22-23 so far as against 12.5 lakh crore rupees a year ago. Indicators of fixed investment, that is cement output, steel consumption, and production and import of capital goods registered robust growth in November and December. In several sectors such as cement, steel, mining, and chemicals, there are signs that additional capacity is being created in the private sector. According to the RBI survey, seasonally adjusted capacity utilization increased to 74.5% in Q2 22-23. The drag from the net external demand, on the other hand, continued as, a, as merchandise exports contracted in Q3 22-23. On the supply side, agricultural activity remains strong with good rubby sowing, higher reservoir levels, good soil moisture, favorable winter temperature, and comfortable availability of fertilizers. PMI manufacturing and PMI services remained in expansion at 55.4 and 57.2 respectively in January 23. Turning to the outlook, the expected higher rubby output has improved the prospects of agriculture and rural demand. The sustained rebound in contact, contact intensive sectors should support urban consumption. Broad-based credit growth, improved capacity utilization, government's thrust on capital expenditure and infrastructure in the union budget recently presented should support, uh, should bolster investment activity. Let me repeat, broad-based credit growth Improving capacity utilization, government's thrust on capital spending and infrastructure should bolster investment activity. According to our surveys, manufacturing, ser manufacturing services, and infrastructure sector firms are optimistic about the business outlook. On the other hand, protracted geopolitical tensions, tightening global financial conditions, and slowing external demand may continue as downside risks to domestic output. Taking all these factors into consideration, the real GDP growth for 2023-24 is projected at 6.4%. I repeat, the real GDP growth for 2023-24, that's for the next financial year, is projected at 6.4%, with Q1 at 7.8%, Q2 at 6.2%, Q3 at 6%, and Q4 at 5.8%. The risks are evenly balanced.